Hello, Coach. Good morning and welcome to our program here in Toronto. Good morning, Canada. Good morning, Toronto, and congratulations. What oh, an exciting time. You are the whole city is on fire, Coach. I can tell you that, and you would understand that as somebody who knows the sport. Um, I'm sure you're thinking a lot about Kawhi now, given, given his NBA success, but we need to start at the beginning and introduce this whole thing to our Canadian audiences. So tell me a little bit, if you would, I'm going to show a picture that you, you sent in to, to us. When he was in high school, tell me about when you laid eyes on one Kawhi Leonard on court for the first time. Wow. He showed up... Uh during the transfer to King in between his sophomore and junior year. And he showed up and it was the first week of school, our sixth period athletic class. We finally rolled the balls out, no practice or anything, and just started letting the kids play. And I had a loaded team. And uh, the first two times up and down the court, and I had seen him play during the summer a little bit. And uh, first two times up and down the court, I immediately got on the phone. And uh, my father was my assistant, uh, former Hall of Fame high school coach and college coach, and I was his assistant for 14 years. He was my assistant, and I got on the phone and I said, hey, Dad, you got to get down here. This kid is something else. I think we have an NBA player in our presence. And uh, he drove on down. He finished watching the Hawaii and all the kids, the great players we had playing the pickup game. And within the first couple times down the court, he looked at me and he goes, oh my gosh, I think you're right. And I oh, said, really? you know, I'm going to make another state dad. I said, dad, he's not only going to be an NBA uh, player, he will be an NBA all-star. I, I never dreamed that he was going to, you know, ascend to possibly the, you know, the greatest player in the game right now. I mean, what he's doing is just simply incredible. Uh, uh, that is amazing that just from a couple of times up and down the court, you could pick up it. What was it that stood out to you so strongly, so quickly in Kawhi's play as a teenager? Well, I've been, uh, had four, seven former NBA players and I can't tell you how many division one and, uh, you know, with these great players and what Kawhi was doing, or what I call the intangibles, things that uh, you can't teach within the game itself. And, uh, you know, simply hitting the passes like he does, and they see the game at a different level, and what they do is they react to the game at a different level. And uh, even with all the great players he had on the team, you, I could just see it right out of the gate that there, there was special, special written all over Kawhi. So he had the talent, he had the will. I mean, we're looking at some pictures of him playing right now, but I want to go back to those old pictures that you shared with us from, from the early day. His demeanor at that time, I mean, we're always struck when we watch him here that he seems so calm and that he seems almost so, so reserved. Was that always the case? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Kawhi has got a ice in his veins. He uh, cherishes the moment super competitor and uh you know what what you see with him and the, the quietness and everything he's, he's always been that way he's introverted and i think that's partially what makes him great i mean he he's always worked harder than everybody else he's always the first one in the gym the last one to leave and i, I believe that's still true today yeah, apparently it is. You're you're quite right. So so listen, that's interesting. Ice in the veins, and you maybe don't know exactly what's going on inside. Um, we just happen to be in preparing to talk to you today, Coach, going back through some old L.A. Times um, archive, and they talked about your team. They were covering your team back in the day. They talked about a game that they won, that you won, but it was actually on the very day that Kawhi's dad was shot and killed, and how he still played, and in fact had. 17 points, if I, yeah, 17 points for your school, Martin Luther King High School, on that very day. I mean, what, do, what did you think then, and what do we take away from that? What do we learn about him in that moment? Well, you know, it was a very difficult situation. We had just finished a big game the Friday night before, and we were set to play Dominguez, one of the best teams in the country, on that Saturday at Poly Pavilion at UCLA. And uh, my father and my coaches we all went out to dinner after the game I think it was about nine o'clock and I got a call after the you know during the middle of our dinner that <clears throat> Kawhi's father had just been murdered so we uh, I took my former uh, player Marvin Lee who was my state championship uh, all-star and John Wooden award player who which was his AAU coach and I called him and we had him picked up and he took care of him for the night and you know, my thing with Kawhi is all I said and I, when I talked to him the next morning is, you know, 
you have as much time as you need and we're there to support you we're there to help you as much as we can through this and we know this is something that you you're going to have to deal with and i i didn't uh, say he could play or anything i totally anticipated that he wouldn't and uh mm -hmm. lo and behold he shows up at ucla and uh he was ready to lace him up he just felt it was better that he could use basketball as the outlet to be able to help him you know with that difficult situation it's interesting because that's exactly what he said to the paper reporter. Basketball helps me take my mind off things, picking me up every day when I'm feeling down, was the quote from that time.